Hi, crafty friends. Hey guys, we are going to make a faux window pane and we're going to create a wreath to put on top. Now, the great thing about this project too is that you could use it for all seasons, but I thought having the little wreath on it would be cool for the upcoming holidays. So I took all the pieces off, I even removed the little tabs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting these together to create the pane. And the easiest way I have found to put these together is just by using some craft sticks and just put hot glue on on it and then place that over the seam and then it holds together really nicely and then you don't have any glue dripping forward uh, to the front of this. Now you guys know that I love all things gold. You know that I do but I went ahead and painted these gray um, because I thought Ooh, let's do something a little bit different. So once we get them all together here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually sand these a little bit before I start to paint them because sometimes they're just a little bit too slippery <laughs> with the paint and I want it to stay on uh, really well. So a little sand, a sanding block here just to kind of you know hit the edges and then what we'll do is we will start painting this up. Now once all the paint was dry, I did end up sanding over it just a little bit just so that this color kind of comes through um, just to add a little bit of distressing but not too much distressing I know that's hard for me because you guys know I love to distress so I'm using um, some um, chalk paint here and we're just going to paint this whole thing up and then let it dry really good and then that's when we will do uh, the sanding part of it. I actually did put two coats of this paint on um, because I didn't like the way it was looking. Um, I would suggest if I did this again to use um, spray paint. I think that would actually be adhere a little bit better just because they're plastic frames. I think it would be a little bit better there. So here's where I'm just kind of touching up some more spots and then again once that's dry we will do a little bit of sanding but not too much. Um, I think these would also be really cool like painted a brown color um, like a, maybe a light brown or something but anyway so I got one of the wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. I had used it before in another project. Um, I had cut the center parts out so I thought oh we'll just use this so I cut off those edges. I mean I guess I could have left them on because I think they'd be camouflaged by the greenery but I'm just going to wrap the whole thing um, and I'm just kind of doing it tight so that nice and fills in everywhere and kind of makes it look a little bit more poofy. So just did that around and around and around. And then once I get to the end there, I'll just kind of tuck that in under uh, one of the other pieces so that it stays really well. Now I'm going to add some greenery and then um, the little deer head ornaments um, at Dollar Tree. I thought, wouldn't that be so cute in the center of this? So that's what we're going to end up putting on it. But you could decorate down here however you want. I just thought adding some little different greeneries would be um, super cool to do. You could even do uh, a bow. That would be adorable. So look how cute this turned out. Oh, I just love that little deer. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to follow for more.